Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we are carrying out a Gamma Squadron. And uh, we can do Spectrum Supremacy. It's the final shift. I've done some upgrades, but just generally filled them up with random passives. And uh, just, yeah, just, it doesn't matter. <laughs> There's nothing game changing. So, um, because, yeah, we're just going to be starting a turn and shooting things in the face, and then they'll die. That, to me, is um, the pattern that we've fallen into. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Should be okay, because everything else has been fine so far. Uh, but, because of our sort of, um, I don't know, hunt for a challenge, it means we won't ever get enough resources to win this on Tier 3, which is a bit of a shame, honestly. It is a bit of a pity that uh, we're going to miss out on that. Oh, also, it's the final shift, and no one's attacked our headquarters yet, so they're probably going to do that, which means that we aren't going to do Spectrum Supremacy. But in case we do, Guilders often sponsor a variety of games for entertainment and profit, in which local gangs regularly participate as a way to assert their dominance and supplement their income. Spectrum Supremacy is one such game, a delicate dance of tactical expertise. The gang who controls the most lights at the end of the battle will claim victory. Unless, of course, we have to ditch this and, um, you know... Oh, good. Oh, good. Okay, they didn't bother trying to attack our hideout. So there we go. We'll be doing um, we're doing this one against the Void, the void Scions. Uh, okay. Spectrum Supremacy. I think we're just going to end up killing them all and winning, though. If I'm honest. Spectrum Supremacy is way more fun when, like, everybody's fighting over it. It's a lot of fun when you got, like, a triple threat or, um, you know, sort of four factions all fighting for it. Vault Interior. Okay, so. Those are the lights. Blue casket down there. Which I'm pretty sure if we grab makes no difference, but uh, we'll grab it anyway. You know, we'll grab it anyway. Um, and should we go right into the corner? Yeah. So this should be interesting, because I don't think they'll go straight for the resources this time, which is, uh, you know, always fun. Uh, so we're going to go over there with these guys and the lay mechanic. We're going to try and trap this little room, I think. See if we can't set up over there with some traps. You know, having a melee fighter over there might be nice too. Uh, we're going to put our dead eye up here though. Because they are going to climb up onto the top of that little area that we'll be trapping. Um, although... Now I kind of want them with our heavy, because we want the, uh, what are they called, the auras. We want the auras, don't we? Well, never mind. Uh, let's start off with the lay mechanic. So first off, uh, Elitox. Good old Elitox. He's never disappointed us, and he's turned on one of the lights. They are in the lead, guys. They're in the lead. Oh, he's going to overwatch. Interesting. Because he's a dead eye. He's got some range on that thing. I think that's 30 range. We'll soon find out if that's the case. I'm sure. Okay. So, he can't get line of sight on us from there, which is good. Really? Really can't build it in that corner. Why why not? Oh, you can. Okay. We just can't stand in range of our own turret, I guess. Let's put you there. That's good to me. And then Oh, we could destroy that actually, so they have to come through this door if they want to come through here. But something tells me they're not going to be coming through here. Um, if I'm perfectly honest. But that's okay. Oh god, we can't build other turrets, can't we? Could build more of them. Do we want to do that? Probably not. Not much reason to. Not much cool for it. Okay, we're going to stand here. And we're going to overwatch, I think. Uh, how long does anointed armament, armaments last? End of turn. Yeah, that's it. So, not great. Not great. Let's just overwatch. Okay, that'll do. And yes, I am, I am setting up traps and things. Just because I can and maybe... Maybe the AI might run into it, but um, it doesn't really gain as much. It doesn't really gain as much. Uh, the maps are far too open for people to ever run into traps if they don't want to. So let's go with yeah. Let's let's go with our main girl. Let's go with our leader. She can set up an aura. 
I actually got a couple more auras to choose from this time. But I think we might stick with uh, Safeguard, isn't it, that we normally go with. And that's the second light. And it's not going to matter, still plenty of turns left. And more ambushes. See, this is the AI actually showing sort of some gumption. Because they know to take the objective and then to camp it. Try and try and keep it safe, you know, by setting up ambushes around it. That is how they should be behaving. That is absolutely how they should be behaving. Except I can kill her from here, which makes it a little less impressive. <laughs> a little bit less. Also, I can entrench as well. So yeah, is it garrison we normally get? Oh yes, that is garrison, isn't it? Yes, it is. Though I did get safeguard as well, which is nice. Makes uh, enemy um, offensive range skills cost twice as much, which is really nice. Um, I also got tune-up, which I rather like. So this will actually add to bypass range evasion with our active ranged weapons. It lasts until the end of battle. So um, this is a nice one to get. So we will be getting this. And I might not actually use my aura this time round, just because I know that if I entrench, I can probably kill that person in one turn. You know, as is tradition. Uh, or maybe not. Maybe not, as it turns out. I can't quite afford it. In that case, let's do a garrison. Uh, although first, maybe I should just take some shots. Now let's set up a garrison first. What are we going to go with? Yeah, probably the extra AP each round. That's just too good to miss out on, I think, for anyone sharing that. So, yep, let's see if we can't do some damage. Nice, nice. Nearly dead already. They'll probably be dead next, uh, next turn we get, so that's fun. Poor girl. Okay, next up. Should we hit her with a big hammer? Uh, our dead eye is probably a good one to finish them off. Or I could zip line up to there and try and kill Elitux. Although I think that pillar might be in the way. Okay, Thyron, you can go and try and kill our person in the middle. Uh, Lysel is going next. Okay, coming in with a field scan. And hanging out in a corner. Well, all right then. Oh, the terror. <laughs> Whatever will we do? Uh, oh, so, can't quite reach by the looks of it. Or can I? Can't quite. Uh, what is his range? Is it 30? Uh, da -da -da -da, 40. Range of 40. So, almost. It's ludicrously close. If I zip line up to there, I might be able to shoot. But yeah, I do worry about Elitex there. Although, I don't know what gun he's got equipped. Last time he had a gun that was really... Uh, is that the same gun we have equipped? I can't tell. Uh, doesn't look like it. I think it might be a bolt. A bolt gun, maybe? Which I think has like... Oh, it might be a plasma gun. Oh, I don't know. I don't recognise the silhouettes enough. Never mind. Um, so... Let's use Ascension. Yippee! Good stuff. And... Whoops. And yeah, license down there now. 43. Let's see. Let's see what this guy's range is. It's 40! Missed, though. That was fortunate. Very fortunate. So, if I did a trick shot, I could prob- Oh, wow, really easy to hit him in the head, too. Jeez. Okay, let's, um, let's weigh up our options. Okay, I could delay after this, I think. Nope, that's going to cost us 30 AP. Never mind, then. Oh, yeah, I picked up delay, if that wasn't obvious. All right, let's shoot him in the head. Oh, my God. Okay, he's nearly dead, too. Wonderful. Uh, and I could overwatch, too. I could overwatch. So, tell you what. Let's, uh, yeah, let's move to about here. And let's overwatch. I am putting myself in slight danger, but no one seems to have any ranged weapons. I don't know if you guys noticed that. There's not a lot of ranged weapons kicking around. It's all very short range stuff. Or melee. A lot of people running around in melee. So, I don't think I have to worry too, too much about being up there and, uh, not kneeling. Alright, um... 
Yeah, let's get licensed, shall we? If I can figure out how to get down there. Yeah, let's go set fire to it. We're friendly like that. Okay, jump as far as you can jump. Good stuff. Oh, hi, Sowden. Sowden. Oh, light it's up there. I can get up there still, but... Would've been nice to have just be able to walk up there, rather than wasting any AP. So, you know, fair chance that I, I graze here. Let's see. Nope, she's, she's done. <laughs> That's her gone. Uh, I don't have the AP to activate this, though. I guess this costs, what, 10 AP to use? Must be. Okay, so I can reload a weapon, so I might as well, I guess. Why not, right? Why not? Why not? And yep, teleport to wherever you need to teleport, that's fine too. Okay, right in the middle, where you can get shot at easily. That's fine. You do you. So, Leardon, what are you going to do? Get shot. Ooh, there's a crit there. And he's pinned, so that's that's him done then. Okay. So, chem synths, you know, that's a good thing to do. Okay, now I might just try and run up there and hit him with a big hammer. Let's try it. First up, though, it's Arkle. What are you doing, Arkle? What are you up to? Hanging out with your homies? Uh, where is she going? This is interesting. Okay, just gonna overwatch. Okay, I know to go the other way then. That's fine. In that case, we're gonna go around the right of this area instead of the left. Yeah, we might not be able to get the whole way around. No. This map is deceivingly big, actually. Like, most maps you can get about, you know, two-thirds of the way across. This one, you can really get about halfway. Which is a bit of a bother, I must say. Uh, but what I can do, activate light controls. And then I could... I mean, I could kneel first in case anyone tries to shoot me. And then we can ambush. Anyone tries to get near this light, they'll be ambushed. Okay, so they're dead already. So I do need to come upstairs. Um, let's see. So, zip lines are possible from there. Tell you what, let's try. So we got 91, he's got 92. And he has triggered the overwatch. That's a bother. That is a bother. However, if I go to my saboteur, I might be able to climb up there, actually. Uh, is there a way up? I guess I can use the lift and then set fire to them. That would help me get rid of Elitix before he gets a go. And Elitix is the only one that really has the damage potential to bother me. It seems everything else is flamethrowers and stuff, which aren't half as good as, you know, the dead eye's ability to rack up the damage. Okay, so... Uh, let's select the floor. Floor 7. Good. Nope. Then he grazed. And, oh, okay, we are in range of both. That's surprising. I thought we'd just be in range of the one. Oh, that's a homemade grenade. No, I want to shoot them. I'm still in range of both. Not a great chance to hit, though. Oh, it's because good chance to hit this guy, not a great chance to hit that guy. It's weird how it sort of conflates the two. It makes me worried that it's not doing them separately, but I think it is. Just who knows, you know? Who knows? So that'll do. Um, and you can sit there. Done. Probably should have nailed or something, but eh. Do we really need to be all that careful? Not really. <laughs> I think we'll live. Um, okay. And it looks like they were going to go with them first. So, that's good news. Uh, I don't know who they're going to go first next time, but we have pretty terrible initiative, generally. So, just go with the Deadeye, knowing that we can kill somebody with the Deadeye. Okay, Leoden is jumping downstairs. I think he's just going for some lights rather than trying to hurt anyone. Oh, he's healing himself. I mean, fair enough. Fair enough. But the thing is, these 
like, heal it, like health dispensers, they don't heal enough to matter. Because usually you can kill someone in a single turn. And so if you don't quite, then it only heals a bit, in which case you will definitely kill them the next turn if you just repeat the same, you know, the same attempt to kill them. So it's a bit rubbish. Oh, although he does have full health now. How did he gain additional health when he stopped? Does the health dispenser heal in chunks? I wasn't aware of that. Maybe. Maybe. This game doesn't explain things very well. Alright, let's just kill Lysel, because she's hiding in a corner right now. Oh, seriously, what are you doing down there, girl? Oh, I also got trick shot, by the way, so I can shoot twice. But, uh, unfortunately, quite high graze chance if I do that, but also quite high critical chance. Hmm. Alright, let's try double tap. We'll aim for... I mean, I just want to get a crit, so really I need to hit as many times as possible. But I would like to ignore the armor, so... Well, we got a crit. A couple, in fact. And that gives us enough. Oh, do I? Mm. I only need to get, like, one hit on her, honestly. Well, a couple, actually. Ooh, three. I need to hit three times. Three out of six. 31% uh, chance to graze, though. That means I will get that. So let's do that. And... Ideally... So this is the annoying thing. Ideally, I'd be able to shoot more than one person. Whoops. Uh, but I can't. Because there isn't more than one person here. Oh, I also have Mark Target now, by the way. Which uh, puts down ranged evasion. Which, I'm not sure if that... Is necessarily going to help here. It isn't until the end of battle, though, which is really cool. But, you know, she's just going to be dead at the end of this anyway. I think we'll just shoot her, honestly. I think we'll just shoot her. And then, I will entrench... Then I can set up a nice little overwatch or something, I guess. Or reload. It looks like I really need to reload. Or use a field repair, honestly. But we'll see. Alright, that'll do. And, um... Actually, I could delay. That'd be pretty good. Because delay gives us plus 50 initiative, which means we can definitely go first. Uh, if we, you know, choose to. Uh, and also plus 15 max AP and max MP. And it gives us the extra recovery to fill that new maximum. Uh, Lots at the end of the next turn, so it just means this is a one-off. But it basically means if we don't get anything done this turn, we can use delay to do something the next, which is rather good. So it gives a bunch of bonus AP. So, um, yay. I rather like that. And I'm pretty sure it stacks with this, um, you know, this stance that we have, but this aura. But, obviously, we're not making much use of this aura at the moment. Okay, what are you playing at, Arkel? What are you going to do? Is she going to hit anyone? Nope. Doesn't look like it. Come on, get a crit. That'd be hilarious. 140 damage. Not even a crit. Okay, disengaged. And if they go for the... Okay, they're out of MP now, I think. Oh, nope, still able to get one shot in. That's surprising. I didn't think they'd be able to get a shot in. But that's not really a lot. You know, that doesn't really do much for him, does it? Not really. Now I'm going to see if I can't kill both of these people in a single turn. Okay. So. If I do heroic barrage, one on her, and then... Let's see. And then two on him. Will that do it? Only 71%. That doesn't seem very good. Um, damn, I can't quite entrench either. Alright, well, heavy barrage. Wait, Grey's chance is 106%. That's a very high percentage. Which is a shame, because this isn't going to work. But, let's go for one there. One here. And another one over there. See what happens. We might get really lucky somehow. Oh, that jammed. Oh, well. Okay, not that lucky then. Oh, we took her out, so that'll do, I guess. Um, we got no AP. Oh, I don't know. I'll just give him a bunch of um, AP. And he can go first on this turn. 
and they're out of players already. This is the last guy. This is the last guy. This is this is it. That's really quite embarrassing. Um, fact. If I go over here. Okay, I can still entrench. Brilliant. Which means I can charge him. Even though he does have that ridiculous graze chance. So yeah, he used Iron Will at the end. He must have done. He must use Iron Will. So we're not going to take him out. Not without a saboteur. Not without a saboteur. Or just, you know, to wait until next turn, but still. So terrorize, puts down range, precision. I mean, tactical skills will cost more. I think... I think disengaging counts as a tactical skill. And him not being able to use entrenched is pretty rotten of us. So let's do that. Uh-huh. So he's been intimidated. And now let's entrench. And then I can hit him with something else. I can, like, I don't know, say something cruel about his mother or something. Uh, so terrorize. Or destabilize. So I don't think we have to worry too much about his offensive capability. So we'll just make it so he's worse at hitting us. I don't need to worry about the cost so much. Alright, that'll do. And <laughs> now our lane mechanic. I guess I'll put a turret next to it. That'd be funny. If I can get there, I might not be able to reach. Ready, girl? Come on. There we go. Oh, please tell me I can reach. <gasps> I can. Excellent. Everybody gets a turret. Oh, come on. Let me put one closer to him. There we go. What else can I do? Uh, build a health dispenser. Maybe I could anoint my armaments. What's that do again? Critical hit chance, that's the one. And it also removes the chances of things like plasma volatility and stuff, so prevents a loss of um, reliability, etc. Which is really rather nice, I must say. Um, I guess what I'll do is ambush. So if he does disengage and try to step back so he can shoot someone, I will charge him again. And that'll be funny. Alright. Saboteur next. And, oh, hang on a minute. Oh, he is a saboteur. I thought Leodin was a dead eye. I don't know why. What was I thinking? Not a clue, but oh well. Uh, so, Nullnade. Which... It's going to be awkward trying to hit one person with. I guess it doesn't matter. Everybody gets a null nade. And... Then... Kempsynth. Everybody gets... Oh, he doesn't now, apparently. Sweet. Yeah, you don't get that. You don't get that. Okay, can I put this trap down somewhere? Doesn't look like it. That's fine. That's fine. Didn't need it anyway. Alright, more camp synth. Nice. Alright, that'll do. I mean, yes, I could have shot him, but I want to see what happens with the turrets and everything else. Okay, so he existed there. So... Oh, he was able to camp synth. I didn't shoot him. Interesting. Camp synth isn't on the list of stuff that affects people. Okay, cool. In that case, time for our leader to go get that salvage casket. Which, hilariously, if she'd done that on the very first mission we did, uh, we could have got tier 3. So that that's pretty hilarious. Uh, really? You can't... Okay, for no reason at all, we can't jump from that. So I guess I'll run up here to jump from that. This game sometimes has the weirdest... Weirdest quirks. But you guys know that already. Okay, good. Salvage casket. Uh, that'll do, I guess. Okay, now I guess we'll just hit him with a big hammer. Kind of a bit sad to do it like this, really. But, so be it. Bonk. Job well done. Now let's steal all of his stuff. Do we need it? Hell no. Are we going to do it anyway? Yeah. Yeah, we are. 
Uh, okay, this two. I want, I want all those two. And I'm out of AP. Alright, that'll do. Do we need to turn all the lights on now? Is it gonna, is it gonna fail us if we don't turn on all the lights? Because that would be hilarious. That would genuinely be very funny. Yeah, let's go with this guy again. So we know his infantry is full, so we can just go ahead and turn the lights on. That's one. I just jumped to the wrong level. That's hilarious. Is there one down here? Yeah, there is. Oh, right, that's two. That'll do. Uh, oh, actually. Looks like we can still climb up here, so. So we can get all three in one turn. You shouldn't be able to do that. You shouldn't be able to win this game mode in a single turn like that. That's just silly. That's very silly. That means if you have one person standing at the end of this, at the you know, the turn allowance, the last person to go can just grab all of them and you don't have to worry about it. Which is really weird. Okay, let's keep grabbing stuff. Even though it doesn't really matter. But I know that some of you guys are going to be a stickler for this sort of stuff, even though we'd already looted that guy. Okay, who's next? That guy. We haven't looted that guy. So let's loot this one. Oh, and let's turn this on as well. May as well get all of them, right? Okay, no. No search. Thank you. Worth it. Okay, good. And yeah, we can't reach any further, so that'll do. Alright, might as well get her moving so we can just say, yeah, good job. You did good. And now, finally, Yaron. Run into that corner and grab that person's nonsense. See if you can reach. It's quite a long way to go in a straight line. Nope, we got it by the looks of it. Good. And this is all ours too. Notice how all of their equipment has been tier 1, because we'd already stolen all of their decent equipment in the first few rounds. Making later rounds easier and easier. Which is very odd. It's the opposite of how a difficulty curve should be, you know? Um... Okay, I think that's that then. I'm pretty sure we looted everybody. Or did we? Is there someone we're missing? Oh, we didn't we didn't loot the person on the second floor, did we? So let's go do that. And once again, that that isn't somewhere you can jump from apparently. For reasons? Okay, it can jump from there though. Which is interesting, but not into the middle. I see. Okay, never mind. I guess they really want you to use the lift. How very odd. Uh, floor 5, please. Because we're on floor 7. Which is odd that, that it jumps two floors each time. There's never floors in between. It's very odd. Literally odd. They only use odd numbers. I don't know, I don't know what's up with that. But, oh well. Maybe even numbers are, I don't know, something of chaos. There we go. Alright, we got all of them. Let's just hang out here next to the torture table? Who knows? Job well done, everyone. We did it. Victory. Not decisive victory. Surprising. So, job well done. Um, that's, uh, yeah. That's gonna be it, isn't it? So, we did this. No gangs. No gangs being invaded. This op, which is really weird really bizarre. We didn't get the option to attack any bases, and they didn't attack ours, even though they had the option. So, very strange. Okay, so we grabbed a bunch of, uh, just absolute trash, but we can flog it all. And yep, plenty of experience for everybody, as usual, except the stupid ones. Most of our team is quite stupid, though, let's be honest. And yeah, most valuable uh, fighter there. One enemy put out of action. Still, so, still somehow the most valuable. I guess she did uh, did get a good couple of bursts with that uh, that gun of hers, that auto gun. So fair enough. Um, Scouter left the sector. Yeah, yeah, that's that's game. That's op done. Operation concluded. Tier two, which is the worst we've ever got. But that was mostly trying to chase the harder missions by going for ones without resources. So they fight back. So I guess, clearly, the game has had the last laugh. But there we go. That's it. 
Uh, we defeated enough saboteurs, so that's nice. We did that much. Um, but yeah, we were ten shy of the objective there, which we could have gotten. We could have gotten if we hadn't left the salvage crate on that first mission. So that's my bad, I guess. Uh, I have no feelings about it at all. I'm completely indifferent towards it because this this has not been the deadly operation that I was expecting. Um, when we played with the Carrion Queens, it seems that at a point it just starts giving people a bunch of additional health, which I think actually makes the game better, but that's only because it's a patch for wider problems in this game's like general gameplay loop. It's a weird sort of patch to disguise the fact that damage is a bit rubbish and the enemy is a bit stupid. Um, and yeah, there's a bunch of other overlapping things that mean just giving the enemy more health tends to make the game better, which shouldn't really be the case. Um, it's a patch, not a fix. You know, it's, it's putting a plaster on a wound that's still full of bees. But at least the plaster disguise, you know, it covers up the bees. Right now, though, this operation it was just full of bees, and it was quite tedious. Which does make my metaphor fall apart a bit, because I don't think you could call bees everywhere tedious, but, you know, whatever. Um, yeah, so we did it, and that's that. And I guess this was the operation, and I hate to say it, guys, I'm not going to do another one. I'm just not. I mean, this game's a laugh and everything, but um, it, I'm seeing no improvement. Uh, no big improvement. I had high hopes. When I saw, you know, when I played a mission um, with these guys before recording any of this, I, I had high hopes because they actually bothered to attack a barricade, which I'd never seen them do before. But there's still just so many problems with this game that haven't been addressed at all. And I think that's a bit uh, sort of shady, honestly. They're, they're releasing DLC for this game. Like, we're having to buy more stuff for this game. And they haven't fixed it yet. It seems a bit silly to me. Um... I feel like they should just fix the core of it. Also, the DLC didn't really offer anything new. That was another big gripe I have. Like, these guys offer nothing new. You know, yes, there are, like, slight stat changes, like these guys receive more healing, but, like, who cares? You know, you're never in a position where that is useful, so the Vansar feel like every other faction. Like, the little differences they have don't really matter when all you do is get your Deadeye up to high ground and kill someone in a single turn, and then rinse and repeat. Like, those little changes between the gangs don't really do anything except offer a visual change, which makes it a bit pointless, in my opinion. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, guys. I, I think there needs to be some, like, big shake-up. If there's, like, a big mod that comes out that rebalances everything, I'll play again. That's simple. But I'm, I'm to a point where I don't really trust the developers to fix it, because they haven't taken any strides to change damage balancing or anything like that or like the movement system movement being far too generous stuff like that none of it has been changed there's been no experiments there you know they could have done like a like a beta branch um you know on steam that you could download to try some like crazy changes to see what sticks they haven't done any of that so it to me it feels like they're sort of content with the game being as it is and just shipping new skins which is essentially what a new gang is just new skins um so yeah, I, I've really got no passion for, for trying it out the next time, unless something fundamentally changes. But uh, it's been fun. It has still been fun. I've put a lot of hours into this game, regardless. Um, because I think it's a fun little jaunt. But at this point, I've played enough that I want some depth to it. There's, there's so many things that hint at a greater depth of this game. But there are just some fundamentals that mean that it, it's, it doesn't matter one way or the other. Which I think is a real pity. But hopefully... Hopefully in a few months there'll be some fundamental change and I'll get to come back and tell everyone, hey guys, eating my words here. You know, I said, oh, nothing's changing and look at it now. I hope to God that happens because right now it's, it's, you've seen it. This is far too easy. I, I was barely even trying. It, it got to a point where I was just, I wasn't even thinking about any of my decisions and a strategy game where you don't have to think about your decisions isn't a strategy game. It's, it's uh, may as well be a mobile game, you know, may as well be an idle game. It's just, there's nothing to it. And that's the sad thing. So, anyway, um, I know, weird. I didn't feel that the first time we played, um, when we played the Carrion Queens, but I think that's because the way the difficulty does it, where they cheated and gave everyone way more health. So, by the time we did our deadly operation, <laughs> I'm doing it in air quotes, by the way, deadly. By the time we did that, they had all those health cheats. So, it was more difficult. You know, because there was counterplay. You would attack them and they wouldn't be dead in a single turn, so they'd be able to react 
and it's in them reacting that makes the game interesting. Whereas, because it scales on how good your squad is, Deadly isn't difficult enough. Which is weird, because it's supposed to be the most difficult, so why not just have all that, like, the maximum difficulty? You know? Shift everything up a bit. Because right now, Deadly is easy. So, what's the point of any other difficulty? It's weird. See what I mean? There's so many fundamental things that are just, like... There's so much potential. Anyway, guys, uh, I hate being negative. Um, so, that's another reason why I'm not, not going to revisit this unless there's a big change. Uh, I hate being negative in videos, but I just have to express this. You know, if you guys are really hoping for another operation with these guys, I simply can't be bothered. I want more challenge. I want more challenge out of this game, and, and it's not offering it. it. It's... Like I said, it's a strategy game where there's no strategy. And that is disappointing. It is a bit sad. So, you know. It was fun while it lasted anyway. So guys, if you enjoyed this, please do comment, like, and subscribe. And stay tuned for whatever nonsense I end up playing next. Have a good one, guys. Take care.